State lawmakers may soon make our highways a little safer for tow truck operators and other workers who perform dangerous jobs along busy roads. It's happening in the wake of another tow truck operator killed while trying to do his job on I-5. That's where John Hopperstead is with more on the safety bill that is getting a lot of support in Olympia. Hi, John. Hi, Liz. Yeah, bipartisan support. This actually was voted on in the state Senate earlier this week, and it passed 49 nothing. So the hope is that if it becomes law, it will cut down on some of the tragedies like the one we saw here less than 24 hours ago along I-5 here in Milton. Tow truck driver, 49-year-old Joseph Masterson, hit and killed in the northbound lanes here by the driver of a FedEx truck, driver of that semi-truck now in custody on suspicion of DUI. The sponsor of this bill says if it's passed, Washington will join 11 other states and allow highway workers to use blue lights while they are pulled over on our highways. Those blue lights usually reserved for police vehicles, but they may increase visibility and also trigger other drivers to slow down. But another aspect about this new proposal would include re-educating the public about the slow down move over law, which actually requires drivers to move an entire lane over to give tow truck workers the chance to do their job safely. It's time that we re-educate something that's already on the books. And I'll offer up that this is a campaign that we need to go statewide with, with signage and banners. And in fact, I'll look forward to the day when we share the, the vaccination billboards along I-5 way with another message, another life-saving message about our tow truck operators. Senator Jeff Wilson says he's heard from a lot of tow truck operators over the last year who are basically begging him to do something to make these roads safer for them. In fact, two tow truck operators were killed in his area of Longview in just the last year. This new bill is named after those two tow truck operators, and he's hopeful that the House will now join the Senate, vote this in, and hopefully sooner than later, it will become law in our state. Reporting live in Milton, John Hopper said, Fox 13 News.